Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about how we can mine Bitcoin Z in less than 5 minutes using our personal computer. This guide is useful for mining many other cryptocurrencies as well. Some reasons why we have chosen Bitcoin Z are, first, it's ASIC resistant algorithm which offers much more meaningful rewards for the small miners who use their personal computers. Two, the fact that Bitcoin Z is a scam-proof project because it had no pre-mine and no initial coin offering. 3. It is a 100% community-driven project like the original Bitcoin, with no company behind it. What we need in order to mine Bitcoin Z? 1. A personal computer with a decent graphics processing unit. 2. The miner application. 3. Our Bitcoin Z wallet address. 4. A mining pool if we don't wish to mine solo. Are you ready? Let's go! Step number one. Downloading the needed zip files and choosing a mining pool. We visit miniz.ch with our browser. Miniz is a mining application that is specialized in the Equihas algorithm variants. It requires 2 GB of memory in your GPU. In the central page of MiniZ, we press Download and Latest Version. We download the right version for our computer and operating system. We don't forget to write down the password. We will need it later for the decompression of the file. After getting the zip file of the MiniZ miner, we visit the getbitcoinz.com site. Here we will get the mining pool details and the Bitcoin Z wallet application file. We choose About Bitcoin Z from the menu and Mining Bitcoin Z. In this section of the site, we choose a mining pool. We are going to choose the first one for our guide, but you can choose the mining pool that you wish. Every mining pool has its own unique URL and different settings that are well described in the pool's sites. So we visit our mining pool site and we press getting started and Bitcoin Z and we get the pool's server URL and the port number. We save it in a text file for later. Back to the Get Bitcoin Z site, we choose from the main menu About Bitcoin Z and Bitcoin Z Wallets. In this section of the site, we can choose a Bitcoin Z wallet for our device. In our guide, we download the Windows Lite wallet. We download the zip file for the wallet of our choice. We have both the zip files for the MiniZ miner and the Bitcoin Z wallet and we have written the mining pool settings. Step number two, decompressing the zip files, running the Bitcoin Z wallet and the miner application. We create a new folder. In our guide we named it Mining Gap. We copy the zip files into our new folder. We will now add an exclusion for this folder in the Windows Defender. We go to the search field next to the Start button and we write Virus and Threat Protection and we choose this option. In the next menu we choose Manage Settings and in the next one Add or Remove Exclusions. We press Add an Exclusion and then Folder and we select the folder that we made containing the two zip files. We did that because the mining and wallet applications usually give false virus alerts, so we are now able to use them without deactivating our system's defenses. Now we can extract the zip files into our mining apps folder, the folder that we excluded in the Windows Defender. This way we have 
two subfolders, one for the Bitcoin Z wallet and one for the Mini Z miner containing the extracted files. We open the Bitcoin Z wallet subfolder and we run the Bitcoin Z wallet. This is going to create a unique Bitcoin Z address for us. We follow the instructions of the wallet's tutorial and we back up our wallet. By pressing receive, we get a Bitcoin Z unique address. We can receive Bitcoin Z coins in this address from now on. If we get a message saying wallet not backed up, we have to back up our wallet. Always keep your backup phrase or your private keys in a safe place and never share them. We click on the Bitcoin Z address and we copy it in our Mini Z mining application. The Mini Z miner is located in the second subfolder. We are going to run its graphical user interface version with the orange characteristic logo icon. We copy our Bitcoin Z address in the wallet field of the Mini Z and we copy the server URL and port number from our mining pool in the relevant fields. We choose ALGO 144.5 and purse Bitcoin Z. The program generates the code in the command line based on our settings. Now we only have to press start and we are mining. The miner gives information about the time, our GPU model, the percentage of its accepted work, its temperature and fan speed, its mining speed, its power consumption, its CPU and memory clocks, and the overall efficiency. The last one is very important if we wish to achieve the highest possible mining speed with the lowest power consumption. Section number 3 Tips for your mining efficiency Lowering your power consumption without destroying your mining speed We go to the msi.com and we download the Afterburner, the top application for controlling your GPU. We unzip the file and we proceed with the installation. We run the Afterburner application and we can now change the settings for our GPU. The most important of all is the power limit for lower power consumption. In addition, we can change the temperature limit, the CPU and memory clocks, the fan speed and many more with the advanced settings. We have to experiment in order to find the ideal golden line between the lowest power consumption and the highest mining speed. Because different GPU models and mining algorithms have different ideal settings. As a general rule, we are lowering our power limit in order to increase our efficiency and decrease the temperature. As an example in our guide, you can see how we have achieved a significant drop in the power consumption without losing mining speed. Section number 3, second part, monitoring your mining progress. In order to check our mining progress, we have to visit the site of our mining pool and choose worker statistics. We have to find our Bitcoin Z address in this list. So, we copy it from our Bitcoin Z wallet and we paste it in the miner lookup field or in the general search field. Here we are, we found it, we click on it. In the next page, we can now check everything, our speed and its timeline, the current difficulty level, our shares for the next reward, the estimated luck, our current coin balance, our estimated and paid balances as well. From the main menu, we are going to the payment section now. This list contains the blocks that the mining pool has found. We are receiving Bitcoin Z coin rewards for each block that our mining pool finds. Our reward is based on our mining hash rate percentage on the overall pool's hash rate. Here we find the blocks that our pool has found, the date and time, the associated shares and coin rewards. After a few hours, we have received our first Bitcoin Z coins in our Bitcoin Z wallet. It was very easy.
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this. Feel free to leave your comments with your GPU model and mining speeds.